WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour and the author of the opening call, giving you this noontime update. And the Dow is up 30 points. It was up at an all-time high of 27,560 earlier on this morning. Now it's making kind of a doji candle, and it's in a potential leg after the upside. We've got to be a little care just a little careful here. I was asked about whether this is the period from my subscribers to my opening call. I was asked if. Um, why would I be looking for some kind of a pullback? Yeah, I'll explain it all in a moment when I do my Tiger Technicians Hour coming up. Meantime, the S&P is down three, and this is going to be very interesting because the S&P kind of led the Dow to the upside, <coughs> excuse me, to an all-time high. Yesterday, it had a gap up, and they made this tiny little doji can. Look at this, the tiniest little, that's the narrowest parameter we've had up and down in quite some time. And then we've got a red candle. So this is a potential G slash C, and I'm suspecting that we're good. Maybe have one little pop to the upside to go to that leg D and then pull back. But this is where the technicals are really strong. But the elastic band is stretched a little bit too much to have a little bit of a breather. And you can see the weekly chart has broken resistance, and it's right at that moment. That key period right now. Nothing wrong technically in the daily. The weekly chart is good, but not great. And we'll talk about that in a moment. The QQQ, the NDX 100, also has gone to this F, leg F slash C, did make a new, a nominal new high today, all-time high, at 200 point, 200, can you believe that? It was at 182, uh, just early October. So this is a big move. So 200.32 right now, high of 200.55. Leg, I believe this is a leg C, not a leg E to the upside in the weekly chart because the technicals are actually quite strong. We'll talk about monthly charts when we get to my show in a moment. In the meantime, the IWM, which periodically looked like it was leading and then it would be failing miserably, is still failing miserably in that it is not even close to the all time high of 173. It's at 159 right now. Also, this leg F to the upside says a little bit, a little stretch, need, maybe needs a little. A uh, digestive moment, and then maybe may, may make a nominal high above 160.46 the high today. But we've got to be a little careful here. It's getting it's getting somewhat stretched. Now, what's interesting is that gold had a really sharp pullback. It's down 27. One of the biggest moves to the downside in quite some time. Broken initial key support levels, but really it's the 140 1480 level, and the dollar is acting very nicely. It's up sharp. 